Well, hi there. Welcome to the Sugar Freedom Kitchen. I'm Catherine Best Gordon, and I'm the author of Sugar Freedom. And here we are with today's video on putting together a sugar-free meal plan. When I was a certified fitness nutrition specialist, people used to say to me, Catherine, just tell me what to eat. However, I can't tell you what to eat. You see, only a medical doctor or a registered dietitian can actually tell you what to eat. But what I can do is share with you everything I did to lose more than 70 pounds and keep it off for almost 13 years. The meal plans that I'm going to share with you today, I have used myself and also my clients and readers have used them as well. These are to help you get off of sugar, stay off of sugar, manage your appetite, have lots of energy and be healthy and happy so that you can lose weight and keep it off for a long, long time. Because that really is the point. If you think about it, if you never gained the weight back, what would you weigh right now? Well, well, if I think about all of the weight that I've lost over all of the years, so I weigh about 125 pounds right now, I've probably lost well over 125 pounds. So if I never gained the weight back, I could actually have made myself disappear, but that's not the way it goes. However, the good news is I've kept it off. My husband's kept it off. Many of my clients and readers have kept it off. And this that I'm going to share with you today is how to break down a meal plan, how to set up a meal plan so that you can do the same thing. So the first thing you need to know, this is sugar freedom. So the idea is that we're going to get off of sugar, grains, seed oils, and vegetable oils. So those they're out, they got to go. So, so if we're giving up sugar and we're giving up grains and vegetable oils and seed oils, what are we going to eat instead? It's actually pretty simple and you can go to sugarfreedom.com slash blog. If you go to sugarfreedom.com, you will go to the sales page to buy Sugar Freedom, which is fine if you want to buy it. But everything I'm going to give you today is completely free. You don't have to put in your email. You don't have to sign up for anything. It's at sugarfreedom.com slash blog. What are you going to find there? You're going to find the breakdown of the way that I've been planning my meals for the last 12 years. And you're also going to find different grids. You're going to find lists of proteins and fats and vegetables and even fruits. They're going to tell you how many grams, how many calories, all the information that you need. So very, very helpful, all free and really simple. And so what we have here on the website is here is a simple way to plan your low sugar, low carbohydrate meals. So first step one, is establish how much of each macronutrient you're going to eat. So you got your protein, you got your carbohydrates, and you got your fats. Now let's begin with the protein. And this is why this is the freedom of basically sharing the way I eat with you, because that means I can be completely candid. I can tell you the truth because I'm not making a recommendation. I'm making a demonstration. So how do I eat? Starting with protein. When I want to lean out, when I want to get lean, but maintain muscle, maybe even build some, I'm going to eat about one gram of protein for each pound of my goal body weight. So if my goal is 120, then I'm going to have about 120 grams. Now, I know that seems kind of high. This is what works for me. And that's kind of like for athletes, bodybuilders, and I'm very, very active. I'm not just getting into the gym. I'm also choreographing and dancing and walking my dogs and doing agility training with my dogs. So I'm very, very active. So 120 grams eh, between 110 and 120 works for me. So you're going to find your protein level kind of your upper level is going to be that one gram for each pound of your ideal body weight. Next carbohydrates. And this is where things get kind of interesting because I'm going to give you three levels of carbohydrate restriction level one. And this is actually what my husband did very recently to lose 20 pounds and go from his 36 inch waist shorts down to 34. They're big now with ease and joy not being hungry, not having cravings. The great thing about 50 grams of carbohydrates is it's going to allow you, it's going to allow you some fruit. You're even going to be able to have some chocolate or dark chocolate with that. It's going to give you a lot of variety of foods. So if you can reach and maintain your goals with 50 grams of carbohydrate a day, awesome. Go for it. It worked for Van. It might work for you. So 50 grams of carbohydrates a day and how many meals? You could go three meals a day with two snacks. There's plenty of leeway for you to do that. 
Now, intermittent fasting, that's been really effective for me. It's been really helpful for Van as well. However, please understand that it comes to us naturally when we are satisfied and nourished and eating the foods that work for us, we naturally want two meals a day. So I'm not making myself do intermittent fasting. It's happening naturally. And that's what I would hope for you. If you find that you need to eat three meals a day and a couple of snacks, that's a great place to start. If that works for you, that's fine. So that's level one, 50 grams of carbohydrates, three meals, two snacks per day. All right, let's go ahead and talk about fat for a minute here. So we've got protein, we've got your carbohydrates, and then your fat, you're going to eat fat to satiety, no need to overeat. But let's go back to the carbohydrates for a little bit, low carb. The next level is going to be 30 grams of carbohydrates per day. So we're dropping it down a little bit, and you're still gonna go with, if you want, three meals a day. But at this point, you might wanna to go to three meals a day and nothing in between. What I have found is that I think that what was driving my sugar addiction and my sugar overeating was insulin resistance. And so in my personal opinion and in my experience, staying at 30 grams, three meals a day, nothing in between is gonna help that insulin level drop. It allowed me to get more insulin sensitive and that might work for you as well. It's going to allow you a serving of low sugar fruit, probably at breakfast. It's gonna two salads, couple of servings of vegetables, so plenty of above ground vegetables, low sugar fruits, those are covered with your 30 grams of carbohydrate a day. And you're actually gonna be able to, with 30 grams, kind of, you know, eating like a normal person. If you're going out to eat, you're having your salads, you have your protein, probably nobody is going to notice that you're eating a low carbohydrate diet or doing sugar freedom. You're just eating in a happy, healthy way. And that 30 grams of carbohydrate I have talked before about something that I call a farmer's market diet, this idea that you think about the foods you can find at the farmer's market, the foods you find at the butcher, and then you add some dairy to that, and there you have it. So you're not, you're not eating the grains, you're not eating the processed foods. It's this kind of farmer's market diet level three, 20 grams of carbohydrate a day, ketogenic diet. And this is what I have been doing for years and years. It really is when I went keto, that I was able to get the sugar cravings and the hunger under control, really well managed and found my way of eating that I was really happy with. There were times as I took the weight off and once I got the weight off that I've gone back to more that 30, 50 grams of carbohydrate a day, which is fine. But whenever I need to lean out, I would go with keto and that worked beautifully. 20 grams of carbohydrate, 20 grams of carbohydrate a day, that's going to get you a couple of salads and two servings of cooked vegetable a day, it probably isn't going to be enough to allow you to eat fruit. So once you get to your goal weight and once you've maintained it for a while, you may find that you're able to add back some fruit, some dark chocolate, some delicious things that you enjoy in careful amounts and you might find that you are able to add them back. And then if you find your weight going up at that point, you can go back to a ketogenic approach, bring it back down and find your level. So 20 grams of carbohydrate is what I did to finally take the weight off, get at a healthy weight, and then maintain it for, like I said, over a dozen years. So keto has been just really a gift for me and a wonderful way to live my life. And it might help you too. Candid Catherine, in all honesty, what I am doing right now is a carnivore nutritional approach. And the reason why there's Actually, most of the clothes in my closet fit really, really well, but there's just a couple of things that I really love. They're just a little bit tight, so I want to lean out just a little bit more. And so I have gone carnivore to get a bit leaner, and it's working really well. The other thing is I've also given up all artificial sweeteners, all of the stevia, all of the zevia, all of the soft drinks, Diet A&W, which I used to love. It's out out the window, out the door, and that is going really well too, finding much less bloating. I've had some mood swings, I've had some headaches, but I'm finding now that I'm getting on to day five, I'm feeling really, really good. And as you can probably tell, I'm high energy, so that feels really good too. So I don't know about you, but I wanna be happy, and I cannot be happy if I'm experiencing craving and hunger all the time. Cravings, hunger, 
no happiness. So I'm finding a way to eat that does not cause those cravings and that hunger. And for me right now, that is carnivore, but you don't have to go carnivore. We've got all of these different levels, 50, 30, 20, and then all of the different foods here on the Sugar Freedom blog. So if we scroll here, we've got a whole list of meats, and then we've got the food list. We've got all your meats, poultry, eggs, fish, and tofu. And I just wanna talk a little bit. I had a reader reach out to me and say, you know, I don't eat red meat. Could you redesign some food plans for me? If you want a copy of those, I can get them to you too. Email me, Catherine at sugarfreedom.com. So I redesigned a template, a sugar freedom template for her that did not contain beef or pork or lamb. It's really easy to do, it works. Vegetarian, I've had a number of readers and personal training clients who are vegetarians with eggs and beans and nuts and tofu and things like that. Definitely you can do vegetarian. And I think there are ways to go. Certainly I know that people can do a vegan ketogenic approach, but I would say at that point, go to somebody who has more expertise in that area because I have not ever worked with or tried an actual vegan approach for low carb or low sugar, but I know that those plans are out there so you can check those out. So once again, what we have here as well is we have your list of all of your proteins. We have lists of your vegetables. We've got all of your vegetables that grow above the ground. You've got radishes, you've got onions, lots of goodies, all of your spinach and your kale and your broccoli. And that is also listed here. You can also go to fitday.com and get a free account. And then you can also get these grids where you put in what you eat and it'll tell you exactly what your macronutrient breakdown is. Very, very helpful for designing your sugar-free diet. And then as we go down, we also have all of the low sugar fruits. We've got a dozen low sugar fruits listed here. And so that's the way you've got this information and then you can put it together. So let's go back to that 50 grams. So you would have a fruit, and a dairy and a protein for breakfast. And then at lunch, you'd have a big salad and a vegetable and your protein. And then at dinner, once again, your salad, a cooked vegetable and a protein serving again, and maybe a little bit more fruit. And if you are on the 50 gram level, like my husband was, this is when you could possibly do a couple of Hershey's Kisses or some Dove dark chocolate. You can have those things too. If you're one of those lucky people who isn't really addicted to sugar and can do that 50 grams on the 30 grams, which is where, where I am as a sugar addict, then you've got in the morning your low sugar fruits, maybe your berries, some melons, some watermelon. You can have some dairies, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese. You also can have eggs and bacon. That's always fine, right? And then at lunch, you've got a salad again, a serving of protein, and you can have a cooked vegetable. Same thing at dinner, salad, protein, cooked vegetable. And then as we get to ketogenic, then we get to, in the morning, a lot of times what I would do to make my omelets more interesting, I do omelets and I do things like, I like grate cauliflower and broccoli and chop up onion and do some interesting spices. You can use cumin and things like that to make that breakfast really interesting, maybe with a scrambled egg or two or three. And then lunch, you're making your salads once again. I did a lot of wraps where I'd use a cabbage leaf and then you can saute ground beef or ground turkey with different spices and onions and celery. And then you can add salsa to that and then put it in that wrap and you've got a wonderful keto taco. And then at dinner, again, you've got your protein, you've got a cooked vegetable and you've got a green salad. You are going to get full. I know I got full and I have a tendency to have kind of a ravenous appetite not so much anymore. Now that I've gone carnivore, just not all that ravenous anymore. I get full, I get satisfied, and then I get on with my life. What we're doing is we're putting food in its place. We're putting food in its proper place in this understanding that we want to be happy and healthy and productive and enjoy life. And at a certain point, if food is getting in your way, highly processed foods, snack foods, all of those really indulgent, decadent foods that we think that we can have whenever we want. If that's getting in your way and you wanna have a full and happy productive life instead, that's what Sugar Freedom is all about, helping you to get nourished and satisfied so that you can go and do the things you love. For me, singing, dancing, playing music, playing with my wonderful Australian shepherds and going to church and just having a very happy life. Like, share, and subscribe. 
And as always, be well and eat for yourself.